And now Waffle is hunting down an Oranosaurus, it looks like. I want to see it go down. Oh! That was awesome! What is going on, guys? And welcome to the final episode of Dinosaurs in the Snow. This is the final episode of Season 5, and we are going to fill up this island with more dinosaurs. Six more herbivores and six more carnivores. Or four more carnivores, even. And without further ado, let's get started. Alright, herbivore number one. What will it be? Notosaurus? Okay. Herbivore number two. Let's go. Gigantspinosaurus, alright. Herbivore number three, Parasaurolophus. Herbivore number four, Homalocephale. And herbivore number five, Polacanthus, okay. And herbivore number six, the final herbivore of the episode and the season. Oranosaurus, okay, we haven't had that in a while. So for the herbivores, we've got Notosaurus, Gigantspinosaurus, Parasaurolophus, which I have spelt wrong, and Homalocephale, Polacanthus, and Oranosaurus. All right, let's release the Homalocephale first. Get them out of the way. No, I changed the patterns. I thought I forgot to change the patterns because they all look the same for some reason. Let me just check the Homalocephale for a second. Let me see what we got for skins. Yeah, Death Valley. Yeah, I forgot to change the pattern. Well, too late now. All right, let's release the Notosaurus next. What we could do is automate Homalocephale so we can have a change in pattern. Let's have, like, let's automate some Homalocephale and just have them our modified genome so they don't have death value. Let's randomize that as well. That's what we'll do. We'll put eight of them in. An extra eight. They'll have an additional eight. Let's release Gigant Spinosaurus. Let's go. And I think I forgot to do that on these guys as well. Ah. <sighs> I think I forgot to... Give me a second when I... While I... Alright, let's look up Gigant Spinosaurus. Yep, I forgot to change the pattern on that. Did I forget to change the pattern on Notosaurus? Let me take a look. No, I didn't. Okay, good. Alright, let's move on to the Polacanthus. Let's release them next. That's Polacanthus done. Let's release the next one. We'll release Oranosaurus next. I randomized. Yeah, I did. We got evolution, two evolution, and two camp Cretaceous. All right. Cool. For Oranosaurus, that's what we got. That'll randomize anyway, since it's on the both of them. Will we randomize variants? And last but not least, Parasaurolophus. I wonder if we got any movie skins for the paras. I think we got one. I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, we got Killing Mountains Pelophylix, Death Valley Paltrana, Death River Valley Rana, Mangrove Forest Rana, Chow... Yeah, I don't think we did. No, we didn't get any movie skins for the paras. All right, we've got all the herbivores done. Let's move on to the four carnivores. All right, the last four carnivores of the season. Carnivore number one is a small one, Moros Intrepidus. All right, carnivore number two, what will it be? Albertosaurus. Okay, that's a first. That is a first. All right, carnivore number three, Giganotosaurus. Okay, 
Since we have Tarbosaurus on one side, we'll have Giganotosaurus on the other. And the final carnivore of the season is... Oviraptor. Okay. Alright. Sounds good to me. So what we'll do is we'll probably put the small carnivores in here. So we'll put Moral Centripetus and Oviraptor in here. Alright, let's create that. <clears throat> Alright, let's release the Moros Intrepidus. And then they'll probably release a whole Malacephale after this. Alright, let's release the Oviraptors next. Alright, that's Oviraptor released. Let's release the Albertosaurs next. This is their first time appearing on here. They'll probably provide some competition for the Baryonyx, Suchomimus, Carnotaurus, and even Goldie, our Allosaurus resident. And last but not least, Giganotosaurus. the grass is in the way. Alright. So we've got Giganotosaurus living here now. So this should make things way more interesting. Alright, let's turn everything on. Alright, I've changed the settings. So now everything should be trying to survive now. Do we have any dinosaurs like over here? No. We do have a couple of Dryosaurs just chilling over here. <laughs> How long will they survive? Nobody knows. We've also got an Iguanodon chilling in the river over here. As well as the Dinochirus still living here, and that's nice. Alright, we got Grapefruit kind of just chilling in the river. We've got a Taurosaurus fighting a Stegoceratops. We'll have to see what goes on here. We've got the last remaining Spinoceratops fighting another Stegosaurus. Yeah, last episode, two of them died. So we got 76% against 100%. Yeah, the Stegosaurus got the first hit in. We got Pachyrhinosaurus going up against Gigantspinosaurus, it looks like. Yep, over here. Gigantspinosaurus is actually tiny compared to the Pachycephalosaurus. I think GGS is Giant Spinosaurus. I don't know what Giganotosaurus is. Alright, we got a fight between Thunderstorm and Sukamimus. I didn't even know you were still alive. 31% against 87. Yeah, it's not looking too good. I don't think he'll be alive for very much longer. Yep. And the Cryolophosaurus have officially went extinct. That's a shame. That is a downright shame. We've got a Dreadnoughtus kind of just walking around, panicking. I think it's running away from stuff. We've got two Polacanthus duking it out. GGT is Giganotosaurus. That's good to know. Oh, right, we got the Giganotosaurus making its way. Are you the strong one? You are the strong one. All right. We've got two Euoplocephalus going up against each other, probably fighting for alpha dominance. We've got a Utahraptor fighting a Megalosaurus. Utahraptor can actually stand up to Megalosaurus, which is good to know. Ooh, 8% against 100%. Yeah, it's not looking too good for the Utahraptor. He does land a hidden. They might call it off here. Yep, Megalosaurus has won that. Meanwhile, we've got a Nigersaurus kind of just chilling here. I think he made his way back. No, he like he's wandering over here. More dinosaurs are just wandering over here for whatever reason. We've got a Megalosaurus over here. We've got Archaeornithomimus just chilling over here. The Alamosaurs have even made their way over here in the Mementosaurus. We've got two Albertosaurs duking it out. We've got a Gigant Spinosaurus duking it out with a Notosaurus. For something called the Giant Spined Lizard, it seems pretty small compared to some of the other dinosaurs. Ouch. 
33% against 86%. Not looking too good for our Jigen Spinosaurus, friend. We got Goldie going after a Triceratops. I think Goldie's been around since episode 2, I believe. 58% against 100. Yeah, Goldie got the first hit in. Right? A hit from the Triceratops. Followed by a little dance. Meanwhile, we got a Giganotosaurus nearby. Goldie won that fight. We got a Giganotosaurus just walking by. Looking for something to eat, I guess. Looks like he is about to fight something. A Triceratops, maybe? He's going after something. Well, we'll have to wait for that because Max Hardis is going up against Grapefruit. We'll have to see who wins here. Max Horridus, he's the most powerful trike here. Are they going to call it off, I guess? Yeah, they're calling it off. All right. We got the three Carnotaurs surrounding Max Horridus, so maybe something might happen here. We got Giganotosaurus going after Stegosaurus, it looks like. It's Stegosaurus you're going after. I'm surprised it's not Gage. Ooh, Stegosaurus. I think that's our first Stegosaurus death. All right. I think that's our first Stegosaurus to die. Yeah, Gage is still alive. Six, one, two, three. Three, four, five. No, three must have died at some point. I think that's our second Stego to die. That Triceratops won its fight, I think, against another Triceratops. We got Mars kind of just chilling over here. You've got food, right? Yeah, you should have plenty of food. We got a Denonicus hunting down a Moros Intrepidus, it looks like. Yep. Yeah, these guys won't last. Notosaurus versus Notosaurus, Spinoceratops versus Stegosaurus, the last living Spinoceratops. The Stegoceratops seem to be doing fine in comparison. Oh, we got a Giganotosaurus fighting a Polacanthus, one-shotting it. This is the Dominion one. Alright, so this Giganotosaurus kind of likes to chill over here, while the other one does like to explore a little bit. Where'd he go? Hmm. Alright, we got Goldie fighting a Baryonyx. Getting the first hit in. Got a Gigant Spinosaurus fighting a Pachyrhinosaurus. 85% against 69%. Nice. That's, we got a Gigantoraptor going up against a Staracosaurus, killing it. I think we only got two Staracosaurs left after this one. One, which is all the way over here, and two. Yep, those are the only two left. We got a fight between Goldie and a Baryonyx. The Baryonyx just died. Completely one-shotted. We got a fight between Waffle and a Baryonyx. Not looking too good for the Baryonyx, actually. You might not. Yep. You're as good as dead, too. So that means only two Baryonyxes remain. We got Tangerine going up against a Triceratops. Landing the first blow. 100% against 63. The Triceratops does land a hit in. I think we got another Triceratops about to fight another Carnotaurus. These two are doing a little dance, and I think the trike might retreat here. Yep, I figured. We got an Albertosaurus going up against a Gigantoraptor. That's interesting. 73% against 100%. Yeah, the Gigantoraptor landed the first hit in. Mm -hmm. 
A bite from the Albertosaurus. Ouch. It's not looking too good for the Albertosaurus at 46%. They each land two hits. They'll call it off here. The Gigantoraptor has won that. Utah Raptor against Draco Rex. Okay, that's interesting. We also got Triceratops going up against Grapefruit. 63% against 100%. Alright, they each got a hit in. That's nice. They do a little dance. They might call it off here. 27% against 75%. Yep. We got Goldie going up against another Baryonyx. 67% against 100%. What's your stat like? 12 wins and 3 losses. You're a tyrant, apparently. Uh, looks like Grapefruit's going up against Mars at the moment. Yeah, they'll, they might call off their fight. Oh, no, the Baryonyx does land another hit in. We got Giganotosaurus going after another Polycanthus. The Dominion one. We got Taurosaurus and Stegoceratops. Alright, we got another Baryonyx that just died to a fight with Waffle. Which means this Baryonyx here is the last living one. I might name you Swamp. Swampy. You can be Swampy. Swampy the Baryonyx. Oh yeah, this Megalosaurus has made its way over. And I think this Nigersaurus might die. If it's not careful. They've managed to survive throughout the series here. We got the last living Spinoceratops going up against an Albertosaurus. We got Dinochirus fighting Grapefruit. Ooh. Actually, it's not looking too good for Grapefruit. Oh, Grapefruit's dead! The first Carnotaurus to die. That is interesting. Look how big Alamosaurus is compared to Diplodocus. That's that's actually kind of amazing. Diplodocus is tiny compared to this guy. That's awesome. All right, we got another Triceratops versus Stegosaurus fight. If only it's Max Hardus and Gage fighting each other. 33% against 100%. I don't think the Triceratops got a single hit in. Got Yeah, you're dead. Triceratops just died. Oh yeah, we had a Stegosaurus die to Max Horridus. I forgot about that. We got a Giganotosaurus going after Tangerine. I think this is the strong Giganotosaurus. 76% against 100. Tangerine actually got the first hit in. You're stronger than a Giganotosaurus? Hmm. Okay, alright. Anything can happen in this game. Anything can happen. Alright. Tangerine won that fight. We got an Iguanodon and a Dryosaurus that have made their way over to here. Not too many dinosaurs come over here. We got Swampy over here. We got a Taurosaurus, a couple of Dinochirus, Euopelcephalus, Draco Rex. Albertosaurus and Albertosaurus duking it out. We've got Goldie just walking around. Probably looking to fight something. A Sukamimus, okay. Squaring off with a Sukamimus. Never mind, it's a fake out. Alright. What are you thinking about, Waffle? What do you want to go after? We've got Oranosaurus, we've got Triceratops. Looks like you are about to fight something. A Triceratops, it looks like. Yeah, rush over there. Rush over there. You know you want it. Or let the Triceratops come to you. That works too. Alright, Waffle against Triceratops 3. Alright, 
Waffle gets the first hit. Alright, you're good. 65% and 100%. Triceratops does land a hit in. They'll probably call it off. There's no way they'll be able to beat one, one-shot one. We got a Sinoceratops going up against a Stegoceratops. A Tarbosaurus going up against a Stegoceratops. Okay, they do a little dance, it looks like. Oh, with Tarbosaurus getting the, the hit. Stegoceratops is at 100%. And now Waffle is hunting down an Oranosaurus, it looks like. I want to see it go down. Oh! That was awesome! That was actually pretty awesome. Meanwhile, we've got Tangerine fighting a Giganotosaurus. I think it's the same one from before. It is not looking good for this Giganotosaurus. 35% against 70. So what's your stat like? Seven wins, one loss. You are... Small appetite, quenched, resilient, tolerant, social, aggressive, strong, and defensive. And while this guy is quenched, long-lived, resilient, humble, social, aggressive, and strong. You're only strong. Yeah. Eat whatever that is, a baryonyx. Well, that Nigrosaurus died. That's a shame. Do we have any Nigrosaurus? Oh, we have one. You're the last living Nigrosaurus. You might want to watch out, though. Because I believe there is a Megalosaurus walking around. Yep. That Megalosaurus could easily kill you. Alright. I'm honestly amazed the Nigrosaurus have made it as as long as they have. We got another Utahraptor and Draco Rex, but for some reason they keep backing up. For whatever reason. Maybe they're bugged or whatever? But yeah. It's really cool actually seeing dinosaurs coexist in an environment, fighting for survival and whatever. That's how Goldie was able to survive for as long as he has. We got an Albertosaurus going up against an Iguanodon. Killing an Iguanodon. We got a Stegosaurus going up against Waffles. Or Waffle. 60% against 100. They did a little dance. Alright, Waffle got a hit in. They do another little dance. They might call it off here. 20% against 79%. Alright. And with that, I think that's about wrapping it up for basically Season 5. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.